What's going on guys, Sahaman Man back with another review and today we're going to be taking a look at a Star Wars Wampa Cave Snow Globe. Now this is, I don't know if a lot of people know, but I am a huge fan of snow globes and I walked into GameStop recently and I saw this snow globe there and I was like, I gotta have it. And when I was looking at it, I wasn't sure what the price was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like in the 50 or $60 range, but it wasn't. So if you turn this around, you can see the price tag on this is $29.99, which isn't too bad. But I'm not sure who makes this. I guess it's Think Geek. And then you see it's www.starwars.com and it's Disney right over there. Uh, you come to the side, just read Star Wars, the Wampa Cave Snow Globe. Um, on the top of the box, it just has Star Wars. And then, you know, just pretty much the description all the way around. But this is what it looks like in, you know, the packaging. Let's go ahead and take this out and take a closer look at the snow globe. for the remainder of the review because this has a lot of little details to it. So first off, it you know it ha it reveals that iconic scene in Empire Strikes Back where Luke is in you know hanging upside down and his feet are frozen and uh, he has a lightsaber right there and he uses the Force to get the uh, the lightsaber uh, right when the Wampa is about to attack him. So I'm gonna get to try to get some close ups on the Wampa's face and it looks so nice. You can see the teeth, the horns, the fur on him. The sculpting looks great. You got his hands right there and his feet. And then you have some of the snow. I mean, look at the detailing here on the snow. Really, really cool. Another cool thing is you have the dead Wampa. Not the Wampa, I'm sorry, the Tauntaun right over here. Luke's dead Tauntaun. How dope is that? So that's a part of the base right over here. And then on the top of the snow globe, you have a little bit of ice. But let's try to get a close-up of Luke right in there. As you can see, he does have some detailing on there. Really cool, and then again, the lightsaber is right at the bottom. And we'll turn this up around just a bit, so we can get a close up on the Wonka and just, you know, admire the sculpting and the paint application on him. And then we'll turn it just a bit more, just so you can see the base and everything. And then you get a closer look at the top of the um, lightsaber, and then the floor basing right there. So it's really, really nice. It's a nice little display piece. Now, obviously, when you shake this around, you have the uh, the snow effect right there. See how cool that is? Very, very nice. And then right at the bottom, you have you know Star Wars and then Think Geek. But it's really cool. But let me show you guys my little setup with that that ice floor mat LED light that I now check out how it looks with the little like floor mat right here with the LEDs. Give it more of that snow look. Look how awesome this looks. And you can see a little bit, you can see the Wampus face a little bit better here. But yeah, this just looks so nice. Let's see how it looks with that blue background. Check that out, guys. Look at that display. Look how sick this actually looks. Very, very nice. All right, guys, and there you go. Today, we're just taking a quick look at the Star Wars. This is made by Think Geek Wampa Cave Snow Globe. And I did pick this up at... Uh, GameStop now it's retailed at $29.99 if you guys look at eBay some people are selling this thing for like 80 bucks So I'm glad I found it It was the only one there um, It's got some weight to it, too It's a really really nice display piece if you guys have any other recommendations on snow globes Let me know in the comments below you know which ones I'd like to look up because I'm trying to rebuild my collection of snow globes But let me know what you guys think about this and the display overall give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching